Hey guys, it's Derek. Have you ever made a video that when you play it back, you get like these weird frames where stuff doesn't line up? Well, I'm going to explain why that happens and how to fix it as we study interlacing and how to deinterlace it. Uh, first, I should mention that if you get frames that are looking like this, where you have one, two, three good frames, one, two weird ones, and one, two, three good, and one, two weird ones, then your problem is actually you need to inverse telecine, but that's another lesson for another time. Now, for those of you who just want to know, hey, Derek, how do I fix it? Here's a quick, easy way to do it in virtual dub. Okay, so you want to have virtual dub mod installed. For instructions on that, check my other video out, the one on uh, getting high quality videos for YouTube. I'm going to bring up virtual dub mod and drag this video into it. Then we just say video filters add deinterlace, OK it, select one of those, and OK it. And then you are ready to save. Now for help on like what kind of codec to use and all that stuff, you'll want to check out the other video on getting high quality YouTube videos. Now I'm going to teach you some even better ways to do this with AVI synth, but first let's talk about how interlacing works. Interlacing is the way that video shows frames. A frame is like when you pause your uh, TV, it's what the whole picture looks like. Well, instead of taking the whole frame at the same time like you would in film, on video it actually takes half of the frame. And it would look like this. It kind of, it just goes and it draws every other line. So it's like if you were looking out your window blinds and half of them would, were covered up, that's how it would look. And let's see how the fields would look if we just viewed them by themselves. They'd be kind of squashed down like this, and there would be twice as many of them, by the way. Because here's what happens. With film, you would just have the guy like here, then here, and then here. And that's it. But with video, let's say the frame rate is 30 frames a second. It goes twice as fast and shows a new field every 60th of a second. So you get like this extra motion that you wouldn't get with normal uh, progressive frames. And here's how it's drawn and pieced together on your TV. Let's say we start with a dark, empty frame, and the next thing we see is our guy. Well, now, like I said, you have half the lines, and then a 60th of a second later, it fills in the other half. Now, when the guy starts moving, that's when it starts getting all jagged and weird. You have half of the new one, half of the old, half of the new one, half of the old, and so on and so forth. And when they're played back on your computer, um, it just shows the whole frame as if it had happened at the same time, which it didn't. And that's why you get like these weird looking frames. Well, they don't actually look weird when stuff isn't moving, but look, when the guy starts moving, that's how that works. Now, those are sort of oversimplified, uh, so you guys watching in low quality can see. But here are some actual interlaced frames that I created, and I'm going to run those through some real deinterlacers. The first way we can deinterlace is it's called Bob deinterlacing. And all that is is it takes one of the fields and stretches it up to take the whole frame. Here's how that would look. You'll see that it's a little jagged because it's only half a picture. And a symptom of resizing it up is you get like that jagged looking stuff. Now, why is it called Bob D interlacing? Well, it alternates every other line and then it fills in the other lines. And one of the uh, fields is actually a little higher than the other one. So watch this. When it's played back, it actually kind of jumps, and, and it, it's called bobbing. It bobs up and down. That's why it's called bob deinterlacing. That's how that works. Another way uh, Virtual Dub does this is it sort of just blends them together, and it would look like this. So you get these dissolved frames that uh, are kind of weird looking. And hopefully, if your picture isn't moving really fast, then it might kind of look like a motion blur, and you can get away with it. Now, when you use something like AVI synth, you can get these even better deinterlacers where it kind of goes back and forth and picks the best one. So when stuff isn't moving as much, it kind of just gets them all together and you don't get any of the jagged lines that you would from bobbing. But if it really has to, it'll kind of bob it and it tries to clean it up and fix it a little, smooth it out so the jagged stuff doesn't look as bad. And even some ones like Yadif will actually interpolate it. So instead of just blending it together, that's just a fancy way of saying that it sort of estimates where the 
you know, let's say the guy's moving, it estimates where he should be, and it creates the frame, and I think it kind of does a pretty good job. So let's get into AVI synth. Okay, there are a couple ways to do it. Basically, I made a high-quality one and a low-quality one. Uh, for the high-quality one, you'll want to install this AVI synth plugin called Yadif. Just download it. I put the link right in the, the uh, description for you. I'm going to bring this up. This, or I'm sorry, yadif.dll, that's the only file you really need. You want to save the zip file just for future reference. But you just go to Start, Programs, uh, AVI Synth 2.5, Plugins, Directory, and that'll bring up this thing here. All you do is take yadif.dll and drag it into there, and you're all set on that front. Now let's bring up our video folder. Here's video.avi. What we need to do is uh, open in Notepad. We're just going to create an untitled document here. Right out of the description, all you do is copy and paste the part for the uh, high quality one. And then you just save this. And we're going to put it in quotes and call it, uh, let's see, hq.avs. Okay. Uh, a couple things I should mention here. The video, you want to make sure... If it's called Video AVI here, you want it to say Video AVI in here, because all you're doing is you're telling uh, you're telling AVI Synth how to load this thing, and it's got to be the right file name, obviously. Also, I should mention that you want this AVI Synth plugins directory to be right. It's probably the same thing as you'll be able to copy and paste, but if for some reason it's different, like it's a different drive letter or something, go ahead and change that. Okay, so we saved that, and we want to repeat the same thing for the low-quality version. You just paste that in there, and we're going to save it, put it in quotes, and we'll call it lowquality.avs, and that's that. Now, all you do is you bring up Virtual Dub Mod, and if you want the high-quality one, you bring in the high-quality one, and that is ready to go deinterlace for you. Same thing with the low quality. Just drag it right in. And there's a 320 by 240 video. One more thing. Just make sure you select video and uh, fast recompress. That will actually give you better quality than the other way when you deinterlace with uh, virtual dub mod. So hopefully you can kind of understand the concept of interlacing. And even more, hopefully, you figured out how to get some of that stuff to work. Any questions, you can leave them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you on that. Thanks for watching, guys.